Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, September 16th, and from now on, we're going to be having the official Cebu Weekly due on Wednesday, and um, I'll be peppering other things throughout the week, so welcome to autumn. Today, I am going to use Shanghai Volume Regiment. We're gonna we're gonna flash dry our hair and then we're gonna wrap it. And these scoonchies, which I haven't used for a while, and then maybe um, finish it with curling iron, flat iron, something to give it some more texture. All right, let's get started. First things first. I shampooed with Shanghai shampoo and conditioner. Now beautifully newly repackaged. Have you seen the repackage? Repackaged in very soft touch, squeezable, yummy bottles, silk screened, beautiful. And then we're going to use the Shanghai Volumizing Mousse and the Root Booster. First I'm going to do the Root Booster. I'm going to do the Root Booster all over. And rub it in. Work it and rub it in. With your fingertips. Root Booster gives you left at the root some structure. And then when you pair it with mousse, which is next, Shanghai mousse, shake, shake, shake. Golf ball size. We're going to do mousse mid shaft to end. When those two are working together, it gives you all day volume because um, it's not getting weighed down but the products are working on part of the hair that they're supposed to be working on and uh, what we found with the Shanghai Mousse and Root Booster that it gives you lots of volume without sacrificing shine so you still get a very shiny finish and it's a very creamy blow dry and some volumizing products you gotta like yank the brush through we're not going to round brush because we're going to use the Velcro rollers to set it. I'm going to, I took the nozzle off and I'm going to go in and flash dry it till it's dry. But I'm not like going to style it or anything because we're going to use those guys. So, I'll be back. High heat. High speed. Blow drying upside down really does give you more volume. It gets out most of the moisture. Okay. Done with the flash drop. Now we're getting our tail comb. And so we're going to set it in these scoon cheese rollers, which I love so much, yet haven't used in a long time. Because I've been on like wavy gravy kick. So I'm going to roll. And they don't have any heat, so we're not really going to get a curl out of them, but we're going to get a bend. It's going to give you volume. What else? I went to Christian's fashion show this past weekend. I brought Matt. Matt and I went to the show, and I've been to two of Christian's shows now. I, in one of them, I worked. You know, the first one when we did the hair. So I know what goes on in the tents. You know, I'm not a novice. But for some reason, I don't know, the show's at 4.30. Why? I left, we left at 4.15 from our hotel. Granted, it was right around the corner. But bad, bad planning on my part to begin with. And I didn't even mean to. I just, like, didn't even think about it. So we get there. And of course, I have a ticket. Matt has a ticket. Little piece of detail that I did not, that I failed to mention to Matt because I was hoping it just didn't materialize into anything, was that I forgot to RSVP. So I got a ticket, but on the ticket there's a phone number, email that you need to RSVP by, which was September 8th, which was a week ago today. And so you get your seat assignment. Well, I get back from Hampton Roads, you know, when I was doing my classes last week. And I get everything ready to drive to New York the next morning. And I look at the tickets and I see that the RSVP 
was the Tuesday before, and I'm like, shit. So I quickly go and I RSVP, and I CC Christian on it. So we get there at 4.15, and there is a mass of people in front of this, um, in front, inside the tent, not even outside the tent, but people, because you can't go in unless you have a ticket. It's not, like, open to the public. Um... So even the people who did have tickets, it became abundantly clear that there is no way Matt and I were getting into this show, which started, and at that point, about 10 minutes. A, I knew that I forgot to RSVP. I was pretty sure that was going to be a problem once I got up there. I knew that Matt knew that I'd effed up. He was ready to lay into me because it looked like we weren't going to get in. Let me speed my story up for you. I also know from my previous Fashion Week experiences that people at Fashion Week, um, the fashion people, like the real, the insiders, really take a lot of time paying attention to themselves so that if you walk around there like you know what you're doing and you're supposed to be there, people usually don't ask you many questions. So I said, okay, we're going to put on that face. And I walked around. The, the end of this mass of people trying to check in. And I'm like, I am going to scuttle my way into this show. and But it was, Matt had to play around. He had to play the game. And he was like, what are you doing? Stop it. You're not allowed to do this. Da, da, da. I'm like, for once, Matt, please, just let me own this moment. Let me trust that I am going to make this work. And don't talk and follow me. So for once in our whole relationship, he didn't talk. So we go around the corner, and I say to a security guard on the end, I said, I'm with the family. I, said, well, I mean, I tried to call Shannon, but I couldn't find her number on my phone, so yeah. Um, and he says, you need to sign in. And so I looked at the line, and, I, and I'm standing there. What's my next move? Because this guy's already given me the hand. My next move, I had two quick thoughts. Either I was going to get in and sneak around this guy, or I'm going to have to go around back and try to get him backstage probably would have worked, but it would have taken more smooth. Um, so then I see these people walk by and they're like, we're with Maybelline. No credentials. We're with Maybelline. We're with Maybelline. We're with Maybelline. This is literally 65 seconds after I told the guy I was with the family and he said I had to sign in. I looked at him and I goes, I'm with Maybelline. He says, okay. It's like he didn't even see me the first time. I said, he is too. He says, okay. And that's how we got in. And Oh my God. Thanks, Maybelline. I owe you one. I'll go buy some mascara today. Um, so that was my little Fashion Week story. But we got in there and it was fabulous. Oh, another funny thing. We get in there and, um, um, you know, Mina Suvari's there and there's flash bulbs and pops and Kelly Rollins there and, of course, Christian's famous and all these famous people are there that everyone's looking at each other, da 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 And I go and I introduce myself to Evan, who is Shannon's fiancé, Shannon's Christian's brother. She works with us at Bubbles. And the lady next to him looks at me and goes, do you do hair videos on YouTube? And I'm like, yes, I do. She goes, I watch them all the time and I learn so much from them. Can I tell you how that tickled me to be in a tent with famous people and a woman recognizes me from YouTube. Turns out to be Evan's mom. She didn't know who I was. She recognized my voice. That was my little shining moment. So we went, the, sh the show was fabulous. The, sh the clothes are beautiful. Christian's a rising star. I'm so proud of him. We went to the family, like the get together afterwards, which was great. Christian, I think he's filming a new reality show because there was like mics following. Shannon, every time I was talking to her, it was kind of funny and kind of surreal. So I know I'm rambling and it's taking a long time, so I'm going to let these sit. Spray them up. Woo! And I'll be right back. Take them out. So I'm going to take them out. And look, it's going to be a nice, um, light kind of volume. I'm going to take each one out and I'm going to wrap it around the curling iron. Not for long, just like that, just to kind of guarantee that it sticks. So I bet by now you've all seen the VMAs and you've all talked about it. And Kanye West. 
He's still very talented. He's always going to be very talented. But, I mean, really, why is this, like, so culturally significant is what I'm asking. He didn't say anything. Like, remember the last time that he got up on stage at the VMAs and he ran his mouth? Well, I don't even know if this was the last time. But the time that he said that George Bush doesn't like black people? Well, that was another kind of radical move. But... You know, it had some cultural significance. It could be explored as, like, maybe he was expressing the sentiment of all African-American people, yada, 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 whatever. I feel like that died quicker than this. The only thing that we learned from what Kanye West did is that Kanye West can't keep his mouth shut. That it's like, if it's not about him, he's got to make it about him. I don't think it was planned, but really, who's this hurting? Nobody. Taylor Swift, Swift's getting even more attention. Kanye, obviously, is getting more attention. And even though we're all calling him a jackass, we're still going to buy his albums because he still makes great music. We just now can all agree that he's a brat. He's like a little brat. I do think the reason that we're all still talking about it, that Twitter has a lot to do with it. I was driving back, or Matt was driving me back from New York City that night, and I couldn't watch the VMAs, and I just watched... Twitter, literally on my phone. I felt like I was right there. Immediately, I play by play, I saw it happen. Oh, so and so Taylor, duh. and then it's like, oh my God, can you believe he did that? Da 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 da. It's like I was right there in real time, and I was nowhere near on television. Like it didn't even, you didn't even need to get to work the next day and have people talk about it. I knew about it before I even saw it on TV. Haircuttery's on Twitter now at haircuttery.com. Follow them. So now look. How pretty is that? Did you even realize while I was running my mouth that I was creating a beautiful, classy, blowout looking finish? All right. Cebu loves you.